Hello and welcome. It's time to catch up on all things automotive with quick news. This is the place to get updated on everything that's happening in the automotive world in a bite-sized package. So before I continue, do subscribe to the Autocar India channel if you haven't already and click on the bell icon to get notifications when we upload the news every week. Let's start this week with BMW that's going full guns. They have four launches slated between December and January and here's what to expect. We begin with the X7 which is a facelift and expected to launch second week December. The X7 facelift gets a completely redesigned front fascia with the brand new split headlamp design. The interior also sees a major update with BMW's latest curved infotainment screen that comprises of a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster and 14.9 inch touchscreen running the latest iDrive 8 software. In India, the X7 will be offered as the xDrive 40i and the xDrive 30d. The former gets a 380 HP inline six-cylinder petrol engine which is 40 HP more than the current spec and the diesel uses a 352 HP inline six-cylinder which is up by 87 horsepower over the current version available. Both engines are coupled with 48-volt mild hybrid tech and come mated to an 8-speed automatic gearbox with all-wheel drive as standard. Also unveiling in the second week of December is BMW's most powerful production car in India, the XM. Unveiled globally last month, the XM is the first M model with a plug-in hybrid powertrain. It combines a twin-turbo 483 HP 4.4-litre V8 engine with mild hybrid tech. A single electric motor is bolted inside the 8-speed automatic gearbox that further produces 194 HP for a total power output of 653 HP. Torque figures stand at 800 Nm combined and it can even be run in pure EV mode with a range of up to 80 km. Sized similarly to the XM, the sharp radical design will draw divided opinions. The interior, however, has a familiar layout. Although the rear seating area has been devised as an M lounge, placing more of an overt focus on occupant comfort than any M car before it. It also gets the latest iDrive 8 system with the widest range of driver assistance systems ever installed in a BMW vehicle. Then in Jan 2023, BMW will launch the 7th generation 7 series. This 7 series shares the new family look of the X7 facelift. The interior has also been completely redesigned with the new hidden AC vents, curved infotainment screen system, touchscreen on rear door pads, automatic doors and a new crystal-like effect for the dashboard. The biggest highlight, however, has to be the optional roof-mounted 31.3-inch 8K cinema screen. India is likely to get three variants. The 299HP 3.0-litre inline-6 diesel, the 300HP 3.0-litre inline-6 petrol and the 543HP 4.4-litre twin-turbo V8 engine. All these engines come with 48-volt mild hybrid tech and all-wheel driver standard. It's good news for Indian customers who love the back seat as well because the new 7 Series will only come in the long wheelbase as standard. Last but not least is the new i7, which will also be launched next January. It is essentially an all-electric version of the 7 Series and will be the company's third electric car in India. The new i7 looks almost identical to the regular sedan and the only distinguishing parts are the electric blue highlights on the outside and a prominent eye badging on the grille. The interior is also largely the same, including that wow rear cinema screen. The i7 draws its power from a 101.7 kWh lithium-ion battery that gives it a claimed range of 590 to 625 km on the WLTP cycle. In xDrive 60 spec, which is the version that's expected to come to India, the i7 produces a combined output of 544 HP from two electric motors mounted on each axle. BMW claims the i7 can be charged with speeds up to 195 kilowatts on compatible DC chargers, where a 6-minute charge can add 100 kilometers to the range. Moving from one luxury brand to the other, it's Mercedes-Benz. The Mercedes-Benz EQB is headed to India and that launch is slated before the end of this year. We already have reviewed the car and you can watch that video on our channel. The link is on your screen right now. But the scoop that we have from Mercedes is that they're also bringing the regular GLB as well. The seven-seat SUV will be sold as a fully built-up import from Mexico. While that means you will have a seven-seater option in a more practical size, it will be on the pricier side and we expect it will be around 65 to 70 lakh rupees. Next up is the hugely popular Innova and it's about to change. The changes are going to be quite drastic too. 
The first teaser of the hugely popular next generation Innova reveals that it will have a panoramic sunroof, which is a first for the Innova. In other big changes, it will be built on a monocoque platform for the first time and there will be no diesel variants, only petrol hybrid powertrains. However, the petrol engine is likely to be a larger 2-litre unit. In the profile, the High Cross will have a similar silhouette and glass house as the current Innova Crista, except for the rear quarter glass area. However, the front has been redesigned and the bonnet is new as well. The new Innova will be around 4.7 meters long and will have a 2850 mm wheelbase, which is slightly longer than the current Innova Crista. It will continue to feature multiple seating options and have a spacious cabin. The second row of the Innova High Cross is also likely to get an Ottoman function for the captain chairs. The High Cross unveil will probably happen end this year, with the launch being slated for early next year. It's also likely that Maruti will spawn their own variant of this Toyota High Cross. Hybrids, EVs, it's all happening. The future is here and the electric two-wheeler manufacturer Ola has also teased their future electric car in a new video. Though heavily obscured by shadows, one can tell that it will have a two-spoke steering wheel with an octagonal centre boss that has the Ola logo embossed in it. On the spokes, there are what appear to be backlit touch controls on either side as well as a pair of toggle switches. The most interesting thing, however, is that the steering wheel itself appears to be almost rectangular in shape. Behind the wheel, one can see some cool blue interior ambient lights and set a further bit back is the freestanding digital instrument cluster showing a digital speedometer readout. A wider shot of the entire dashboard reveals more of the clean, minimalistic design. There is a slim strip of ambient lighting at the very top and just ahead of what could be a slim bank of AC vents. There's also a massive landscape-oriented touchscreen with a floating design at the centre. The exterior design has not yet been finalised but appears to be a high-riding vehicle with a relatively upright windscreen, hinting that this is a crossover. In other news from the two-wheeler segment, Triumph has launched a new limited-run Chrome edition of its motorcycles from the Bonville and Rocket 3 lineups. Dubbed the Chrome Collection, Triumph says that the limited edition motorcycles pay homage to the craftsmanship that has been a significant part of its history. They get handcrafted chrome schemes and dedicated chrome edition accessory kits. The Chrome Collection motorcycles will be available to order for one year only, with delivery set to begin in late 2022 and early 2023. Here's a look at the bikes and the prices for the Chrome Collection. The Triumph Speed Twin 900 Chrome Edition at 8.84 lakhs. The Triumph Scrambler 900 Chrome Edition available at 9.94 lakh. The Triumph Bonville T100 Chrome Edition is available at 10.04 lakh. The Triumph Bonville T120 Chrome Edition is available at 11.89 lakhs. The Triumph Bonville Bobber Chrome Edition is available at 12.85 lakhs. The Triumph Bonville Speedmaster Chrome Edition is available at 12.85 lakhs. And the Triumph Rocket 3R Chrome Edition is priced at 20.80 lakh. And lastly, the Triumph Rocket 3 GT Chrome Edition is priced at 21.4 lakh rupees. And that's all we have in news this week. See you again next week.